Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to Let's Play Control where we are on the way to the NSC control room. Um, I have the weird little feeling we are a little bit wrong here. No, we are not. That we are going to get in being engaged by a couple of enemies there. Um, but that is just a weird little feeling of mine. I'm not even certain whether we are on the right way here. Okay, now we can get in here. Even though I don't think that's the right. Okay, we haven't read the last episode, so let's do it right now. Unless you. Review by Captain Lopez. These days, most YA... I don't know what that is, sorry. Um, novels in, um, intertween the coming of age story with either a contrived um, dystopian setting or a tragic romance, unless you manage to do both. In the story, the protagonist, protagonist and her love interest search for a cure to a why was called the fix, which is simultaneously killing her and spreading across the world. To find the cure, they go on expeditions into dangerous, uncharted territories. The people all, um, all live in walled cities now because of the disturbing future, and along the way, they just have to fall in love. I liked how we never got to know if the fix was ever actually fixed. The ending was bold, especially for. Um, J yeah, yay! Oh my goodness, I'm sorry. Um, the main character succumbs to the fix when she's so close to the cure and commands her love interest to go on and save the world. She knows she is the end for. This is the end for her, but that the job can still get done. She dies out in the unknown, alone and surrounded by danger, but never loses sight of the girl. That's a good soldier's death. I give this book 3 out of 5. I feel most of the teenage angst is a little lost on me, but I recommend it to my brother's kids. Okay, um, so he's doing book reviews, doing work. That is weird, isn't it? Or did he just read? or read to be precise the review i have the odd little feeling you beautiful people there we are of course a little lost and wrong here if i take a quick look to the mission we okay um i would like to point out on the map but in order to get to the venti, not ventilation, if we are in the ventilation, we can actually even get to the control room, isn't it? So we go back. Sorry. In some games, and I obviously count this one into it, um, you just have to search your way into certain rooms and. Down there is a door, isn't there? So, so the control room opens up here, but we can't open it from here. But maybe if we go up those stairs, there's another before closed door. And through that, we maybe can go on there, but I don't assume we are that lucky. So that door is not openable and we don't want to go through the elevator back um, from where we came in the last episode. That um, would not be what we want to do. At least we found a, um, so to say, locked room. That, of course, is not bad. Can't do anything here. So, through, um, you know, concluding where we can't go, we can actually find things where we can do. And if I take a look on the map through ventilation, we maybe can get where we want to go there's a closed door or a secured door so to say okay here we already were we can't open up that door that's bad okay now we are back here I don't okay that is one thing I don't like that you have to kill off enemies a multitude of times here But now, in the end, the it makes sense why the ammunition is regenerating and why you... Actually, every enemy spawns health for you because you ran or run into them all the time again. 
not complaining here, guys. I love the action because of our telekinesis, for example. Absolutely amazing. Makes really fun with the physics in this game to go up against those enemies, to be honest. So, all of them down. That, of course, is very, very good. And what do we have there? I assume we can't go on right here. Okay, I shouldn't get in there. Maybe, guys, maybe, just maybe, if I'll take something what can burn. That was wrong, but that can't even burn. That's a good part there. Like those things. Come with me. Maybe I somehow can burn the gas. That, of course, would be absolutely amazing. Even, or not even, but if, if you can even call it gas. So that's a big question at hand there. Um, nothing happens. Okay, good, good, good. And that even would be the wrong way if I see that correctly. I assume we can't go through here. Too bad. That's direct the direction we were already going, which should be wrong as well. So the right direction should be this direction. Whether it's then to the right or to the left, I don't know. We can go through there, which would, I think, not be right. So let's search here. Janitor's office, we actually already have been. Oh, no. Are you kidding me? That is just the way. That is the way. Okay, then I'm okay, so really sorry, guys. Again, if that thing blows up? That I was obviously wrong with the direction. Explosion. Too much. Director's duty. Keep the lights on. All right, or whatever that was. North Moore was director before me. I never wanted his job. I never wanted power. I purposefully avoided it. Didn't trust it. Didn't want to rely on it. North Moore was all about power. A man like an explosion, hungry for authority, for order, for more. Until it was too much. I had to find a solution in the end. Contain the situation. Northmore never liked me, but he went along with it, to his credit. He didn't really have a choice. I suppose at the end of the day, a director's most basic duty is to keep the lights on. Here's to you, Northmore. There were no prime candidates waiting in the wings, but I was there. Had been the whole time, keeping my head down, working my ass off. I had nothing to lose. I picked up the gun almost on a dare. Alright, that was um, basically not really that much saying. But that means, guys, we are nearly at the end of this episode. The game, I think, atmospheric is absolutely amazing. It um, can't otherwise be summed up, I think. But, unless there are en okay, no enemies, but that need. Oh, do you see the weapon? Do you see how the um, thing in the front there goes up? That looks so nice. Anyhow, guys, that leaves us to the end of this episode. And you know it as usual. Eh? Eh? No, I really thank you for watching. If you guys actually have enjoyed this episode, then please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And hopefully, I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, have a nice day. Stay frosty. Bye.